We need it to wake up. We need it for a lift. We need it to savour those little joys in life. I'm talking about coffee. And we're going to talk about the Istanbul Coffee Festival, which is being held this week to celebrate the love and art that revolves around this special beverage. A cup, two cups or more. No matter how big your love of coffee is, we're sure this festival will sound delicious to you. The Istanbul Coffee Festival starts on Thursday, and while we all know how coffee smells and tastes, most of us know very little about how coffee beans are making their way to our cups. The festival wants to change that. The hot topic in the coffee community today is the so-called third wave coffee. It basically elevates coffee to an art form, it's taking what's been a mere commodity and making it into a craft beverage. The movement's concerned with where and how coffee is grown, as well as how it's roasted and brewed. And it's the local shops in every city that are leading this charge. The Istanbul Coffee Festival provides a stage for these artisans. Local and international baristas will educate festival goers while also competing against each other. For who makes the best cup of joe? For those of you who think you already know your way around a cup of coffee, wait until you experience the festival's brewing and tasting workshops. Istanbul is a natural venue for the event because it has a famous coffee recipe of its very own. The city's love of coffee has lasted centuries and it will continue at the festival, which is being held at the Kuchuk Chivlik Park through Sunday. And now on Showcase, we have the 2013 world champion of Jezve Ibrik coffee to enlighten us on the culture and art surrounding speciality Turkish coffee. Hello and welcome. Thank you. So tell us what speciality Turkish coffee is. Speciality, specialty Turkish coffee is a better tasting experience by using higher quality product, which is coffee and water, mm -hmm. with proper brewing technique, which is a right recipe and a right product. So uh, how does it differ from Turkish coffee? Actually, it's, uh, technically it's the same brewing mm -hmm. method. Uh, it, the difference is the same between coffee and specialty coffee. Right. Yeah, specialty is a term uh, which it means uh, transparency, traceability, uh, sustainability and overall uh, awareness for the coffee product mm -hmm. as a product. Why did we give up grinding and roasting our own coffee and just buying ready-made packs? Yeah, roasting coffee at home, probably it was a long time ago we mm -hmm. stopped to roast at home, but grinding, I remember even my grandmother, uh, she used to grind before she prepared her Turkish coffee. Uh, I think after instant coffee became popular, we forgot to grind or uh, use pre -ground, uh, freshly ground coffee. Now with specialty coffee uh, movement, now uh, we grind freshly right before we brew our coffee. Mm -hmm. Do you think a specialty Turkish coffee will find a place in the third wave coffee shops that have popped up everywhere right now? Yes, there's a potential and it's already started. Okay. Uh, yeah, there are specialty coffee shops. They start to serve Turkish coffee, even in Asia, Southeast Asia, Malaysia, Singapore, which I have uh, some customers uh, there. Mm -hmm. Why do you think uh, Turkish coffee is not as popular with younger Turkish, uh, younger coffee lovers? Uh, it's not popular because uh, when it's not cool when your parents or grand 
parents ah, do that. that. Might be why. <laughs> yeah. That might be why. But uh, I know a lot of young uh, coffee consumer drink Turkish coffee in Turkey, but they have different uh, purposes, uh, like uh, reading fortune. But it will be uh, popular, I believe that. You foresee that yeah. it will be popular. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, we have a coffee-making champion in the house, and I have to ask you, w give us some tips on how to make the best possible coffee at home ourselves. Uh, my best advice is uh, use freshly roasted coffee and freshly grind your coffee before you start uh, to brew. And good coffee, good quality water, and boiling three times creates bitterness. If you don't like bitter taste in your coffee, don't boil too much. Okay, well thank you very much for joining us on Showcase. My pleasure. Thank you.